Good morning students. Saira, we will continue with Microsoft PowerPoint. In last session, we have learned the formatting. Formatting means changing the appearance of the text. And with the help of Slide Master, we have learned how to create a custom, new custom layout. In Microsoft PowerPoint, the Slide Master is the top slide that controls all information about the theme, layout, background, color, fonts and positioning of all slides. Using the Slide Master is an easy way to adjust look of an existing theme or make changes to all slides in your presentation. Right? With the help of View tab, we have learned how to create a Slide Master. Slide Master views makes it easy to customize the background for all of your slides at the same time. Right? For example, you could add watermark or logo to each slide in your presentation or you could modify the background graphics of an existing PowerPoint theme. Right? And the placeholders are specially used to position different types of content on the slide. In this session, we are going to learn how to add a transition effect in your slide and how to create animation effect. Okay? The till now, we have learned right, how to create a slide with the help of different layout like title slide, title and content, section header, to content, comparison, right, title only, blank slide, custom layout with the help of slide master and content with caption. These are the different slides available in PowerPoint. With the help of that, we have learned how to create a slide using different templates, right? Different templates and we have learned a different views like normal view, slide sorter, note pages, slide show, right? And the slide master also. And we have insert in our slide how to insert a clip art how to insert a smart art, right? And chart, how to create a chart also and the shapes also. Yes, and text box and the word art and movie and sound. This also we have learned in the last session, right? And how to edit the slide, how to move the slide, slide, right? Okay, and word art, and clip art. Yes, children, you are able to make a slide. Now, we will add a transition effect to the slide. So, let us learn. A slide, slideshow is an, is an on-screen presentation of information or ideas presented on slides. A slideshow enforces the ideas comments, solution or suggestion presented in the slide. Adding special effects to a presentation increases its impact on the audience. So, let us learn what is how to add transition. Transitions are used to add visual effects to the slides. Transition effects are the moments you see when one slide changes to another in a slideshow view. You can apply transition effects to all the slides or a single slides. You can apply a transition slides to the all the slides or single slide. You see that? Now, let us learn what is the difference between transition and animation. Slide transitions are the animation effects that are applied to whole slide, whereas animation effects are applied to 
objects like text, shape, picture, etc. on a slide. For a slide, you can have only one transition effect, while each object on the slide can have multiple animation effect. Okay? For an object, when you are giving an animation, you can give a multiple animation, but in the transition, you can give one slide, one transition effect. Yes, children, now let us learn how to give a transition effect to the particular slide. For that, we will open a PowerPoint here. We will take this PowerPoint only. Okay, I will select the first slide. We will start from the first slide. Okay, this is the first slide. Now here, how to add a transition effect. Okay, so transitions are what used to visual effects to the slide. Transition effects are the moments to see when one slide changes to another in a slideshow view. Right? You can apply transition effects. Okay, to all the slides or single slide. Click on animation. Can you see the slide transitions right side? Can you see the animation? That no animation is there because then it's on the first slide. So that is a no animation. When you don't want to give animation, you can click on that. Now can you see one by one the preview? It is giving the names also. Cut. See there. Can you see the names over there? Cut to back. Right. See here. That is a transition effects name, the different transition effects. You can see the preview and see here one by one. Okay, Names are also though when you take the mouse pointer you can see the names also. So see now one by one whichever transition effect you want just click it. Okay, Now yes now the second one again the first slide is blank slide. See here no transition slide then now giving the transition then that transition that no transition slide will disappear. Now see when you click that, which, okay, click it now which transition you want. Okay, for here we are selecting the, see can you see here one by one, okay, click it. Now see the first slide is which slide transition you are giving that slide you can see here. Now first and second I have given the transition. Okay, now how to view the transition slide show and from here the first slide, so I am selecting from beginning okay. and the second one is from current, from beginning, click here. Okay. You can see your transition with the help of view transition, different as view, yes presentation in the presentation mode. So this is what second slide, right. So this is third slide, we have not given a transition effect. So it is a simple one now. Now first and second we have given a transition effect. For that now so animation and the animation here the right side okay. Can you see the animation here okay. Speed and transition speed in the right side. No sound is there. So you can select the sound camera sound, breeze sound right. You can select a different sound and the animation speed also you can select the fast mediums three you can see the three options are there you can select any one option and click it so you want a medium i or slow or fast and now you can see on mouse click and automatically you can see after so on mouse click that means you are using while showing the presentation you are using the mouse so you don't want to use the mouse automatically and you set the timings in that particular slide that means here I am taking a one second. That means the first slide will still you can see a one second. Okay, I have created here that one so that you can one no need to use a mouse. Okay, there are two different here on mouse click or I am using on mouse click now. Okay, so that here okay, you can use automatic also. Okay, now I will select the mouse see here because I have put it in on mouse click. Okay, this way you can create or tra adding transition in your slide. Yes, children. Yes. Now understood now. Now here you can see apply to all. Okay, you want to put all the transition, same transition in your slide, you can 
take this option as apply to all. So, this way you can put a transition effect to your slide in your slide. Now, let us learn how to apply animation effect in your slide. So, what is animation effect? The ability to move objects and text in all directions of the slide is called animation. You can animate the text or objects in a presentation by applying sound effects or visual effects. So, let us learn now. So, we will take the word computer and click on the animation tab, click on the anim custom animation button and you can see the animation task pane there or see can you see the different option entrance right for me yes emphasis exit and the motion pass the four different options are that in that option again you can select a different custom animation and click on play or you can go to the view slide show your presentation view you can go to the presentation view and you can start from beginning better here click on play play and you can see your custom animations if you don't want just select it you can remove it can you see the right side remove button yes now here i am giving in this text the computer text i am giving one more custom animation grow and shrink Okay. Can you see the option there grow and shrink okay. and click on play. Can you see now? Okay. Okay. So, these are the different animation you can give a text as well as objects. Suppose you do not want to this animation you want to give a different custom animation. So, in the right side can you see the remove options are there you can remove it. Okay, you can remove from your list. Now, in the right side in the task pane you are seeing here custom animation pane 1 and 2 that means you have given two different animation for this motion effect. Now, take the next slide and the adding transition for the text add in transition here we are giving a custom animation and see the task pane here custom animation pane right. So, in the exit option okay can you see here one by one options okay the one number one that means you have given the one animation and the play and see okay right so you want to give a one more animation again just select it and select add effects and they give one more animation that is or diamond animation okay so this way you can create a animation for the different text clear ok as per your requirement you can use your animation effect to the particular slide or you can remove the yes with the help of remove button you can remove the animation effect yes children now we will learn we will insert a object and we will give a animation effects. So, the for example, I will take a object from here insert shapes. I okay. will take one object any, any object you can select one object here and I am giving the custom add effects and in that okay, emphasis there spin is there right. I want to spin that particular object. So, just give the animation and just spin can you see that yes again yes again you want to give one more animation for this you can give the animation and the timing is there right. So, you can increase or decrease the timing. So, select the timing and the timing here ok speed ok 2 seconds or whatever here I will take a 1 second high ok 1 here ok and repeat how you want to repeat how many times I have selected 5. So, you want to repeat continuously you can select that box ok you can select the, but I want to repeat a 5 times or I want to spin the particular object 5 times. So, now see you can count it it will spin 5 times and it will stop the object will stop ok this way you can give a animation to the particular slide 
Yes, children. Okay. Now we will learn how to give the path to the animation. Uh, sorry, object. We can show the path to the object. Okay. According to your path, the object will move. So how? Now this is okay. This is for example small one exit here. I am taking the more options. Okay. I am showing you more options are also available in your computer. Okay. So here you can take a circle. I have taken a circle. Let us see now in the circle animation. So this is the first one will stop. Then the second one will start. Okay. For that second object, I have taken the circle. Okay. That means you can understand the. Okay, the so one and two. So in the screen, the two objects are there. Now see, in the first object, I'm selecting now. I'm removing the effects. Okay. Now see here, all of you. Now see, I'm giving a draw custom path. Okay. No, I'll give a one. Okay. Wow. This. Okay. Can you see here? This is the football. I think football custom animation. It is right. Just just check it out. Yes. Okay. Now, again, we will learn now one more animation. Now, more effects mean you can select. Okay. Just I'm showing you all the options. You can select one by one options. Okay. In your presentation. Okay. For this, this is the example. Okay. Now, I'm selecting the first and second. See here, I'm selecting the first object first. Okay, the spin, right? That is so. Here I'm giving. Okay, fly here. Draw here first. Can you see the second one and the first one? This I will remove. That means this is the first one. I'm giving a animation to which one? The first one now, and I'm giving the path to the second object. That is a round object, motion path, and draw custom path. I'm drawing a path with the help of line. Okay, and I'm showing the line. Okay, but my thing is what the first object has to move, not second object, not that round object, because I have given a object to see here. Yes, children, understood now? Okay, that object will go there and it will follow that particular path. Yes, children. Then you can remove now. You want to move that particular object? Select the object. And motion path give draw custom path and the give line or curve and just now. But now I have selected that round object, right? Now the round object will move. Yes, children. I think hope so. All of you understood. Okay. So now play it. Now the first object will not move. Only the second object will move. Is that clear, children? Yes. Okay. Now. I'm going to show you the motion path with the help of curve line and scribble. So here's okay. Take the object. First of all, you take the object as per your choi choice and curve line. See the curve line. It is showing the path. Select it. It will give you the path here. Okay. Continue. See here. Okay. I was stopping here. Then this. Can you see that object will follow the same curve line? Yes, children. Again, you want to see the scribble line now. Now, let us see. Add text. I have selected the first object and the motion path now again. And okay, can you see here motion path? Then scribble. Can okay, you see the scribble over there? Scribble. Yes, you can scribble it or you can take the curve one scribbling. Okay, this is a scribble line. You can scribble. Okay. Okay, and just this way I am giving. And can you see here? Okay, that particular object is following the particular path. Yes, children. Hope so. All of you understood how to add the transition to your slide and how to give animation effect to a particular object. We will stop this session here, Saira.